Hey targeted individuals, this is not a video with my face in it. Um, I want to get a good picture of my dog. This is my dog curled up towards the front door. She's in so much pain, her eyes are dilated. She's like shaking. She also has fleas though, so she's in pain from that. Look at her. I just want to make a short video. Look at what my dog is doing. She never does this. She's by the door, all curled up. Because they're hitting me hard with ELF. It's burning my head. It's like burning the nerves in my head. I feel like dizzy. I'm trying to figure out because I have so many emitters and they, they work um, when the stuff is close by. So I'm trying to figure out what, what's happening. It's tough. I mean, these guys use, they have five probably five houses that they can use for this remote station so I mean I might not even be able to reach it I was thinking I'll get a car adapter um, you know for the uh, for the tabletop defenders and put them out in my car like by this guy's house across the street but uh, I don't even know if he's doing it but I just wanted to take a picture of my dog this is my dog in pain so they're abusing animals. Yeah, I mean they really don't care. This guy's got a lot of people on the streets, and he doesn't care. He's got to follow through with murder of a human being. He's got to make me seem like the worst human being in the world. That I'm not even a human being. That I'm vermin to be killed. Um, it's disgusting. It's happened before, and it's happening again. It's happened before. And it'll happen again to all of us because these guys, they're picking their targets. I'm a target. Like, I'm a, a target now. Here, I'll flip it around. I don't, I don't know how to flip it around once you got it going. See, I'll turn that off. Well, I just wanted to show you all my dog. And then, oh, and if you've seen my video, The Wall of Shame, I'm going ahead and I'm putting this picture up there so I can't hit it because this picture would fall down. So I have to smash this picture first. And I just want to show you that. If y'all hadn't seen the wall of shame, this is where I've kicked and hit and yelled at him. And that's what he's, he's got traction off of that. And he's like, oh, it doesn't matter. He's crazy. We can kill him. It's really a bizarre, the most bizarre situation I could imagine for human beings in an area. And it's like I see unmarked FBI vehicles because I called the FBI. So they're like around here doing their own investigation of all these houses. I don't know where they land in all this. Um, this is unprecedented evil. Uh, but I'll still... Look, look, my house is a mess. I mean, this is like clothes on the floor from months ago because I can't use this room. If I can turn the light on in here. Look, I'll turn on the... Look just just try I mean it's not trash it's all my stuff and it's just like been laying and it's all dirty like this is how I live like this room is made for these this this room is made for the tabletop defenders and I've got three in this room I'm trying to figure out if I should put them all in this room or if I should put them all in this other room because I don't know where they can when they remotely hit you, they can make it sound like it's coming from anywhere. So it's like they can make it sound like it's coming from the other side of the house when they're doing it from here. So it's like treachery all around. I put one at this window in case the guy across the street is doing it. It's 100 feet, so um, it should reach. I may just be putting another one up against the door uh, to get across the street. It's either that or they just powered it up in his house. I don't even know now. I've got so many emitters and I'm so glad I have them because I would be dead. Like this hit me in the top of the head with like microwaves where it feels like gravity is just pushing me down. And it's burning all the nerves in my face. Like and I have defense. Like I have defense like on the ground they're not hitting me. Like if they're shooting stuff straight through the house they're not hitting me they have their you can look at all my stuff look how big the aluminum pile the aluminum polyester pile I'm starting to put other aluminum stuff on top of it 
And they can hit me through this. Like, they can hit me through all that. It does, it dulls it. Like, because I'm out, when I go out in my car and stuff, it's like a million times worse. When I get in my enclosure, it's so much better. I'd like to make something like this, like what I made, but, you know, compact. Make it compact, make it like, make like a six by six aluminum, uh, just a thick aluminum, like six by six, f like thing you can fold down. You know, it'll be like, let's see, it'd be four pieces, just four pieces of, of uh, like six by, six by four. Four by six, or something like that. No, no, do six by six. Six by six uh, pieces of aluminum. Like thick pieces of aluminum. And then put hinges on it so it can fold up. And you can just, you can put it up when you want to sleep. And then put it down if anybody comes in your house so you don't have this. I mean, I've had electricians come in and they're like, what, what are you doing? What's going on? And I'll just tell them. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, Nikola Tesla, he did all that stuff with electromagnetic energy. You've got to get out of here before your neighbors kill you, you know. Like, everybody seems to understand it. That's the weird thing. It's like, that's what my mom was saying. She's like, I believe you. I believe you totally. I can't do anything about it. So it's not all the time that people don't believe you. It's just they can't do anything about it. They're stressed out. They're dealing with their lives. And this is so bizarre, you know. People apparently sign up for it. An organized gang stalking. Oof. The people that I see like out among like on the street uh doing this, they don't look too like they look kinda like they're homeless and their cars are all broken and stuff, so I don't know what they're getting. I guess they get a little payment or something. Or just the thrill. You know, just the thrill of psychologically uh, trying to hurt somebody. I'm not, like, right now, like, they're hitting me so much on top of the head. Like, I, like, like I am kind of, like, I'm not, like, paranoid or anything, but I'm just hurting. Like, it's, like, devastation to my body. It's, like, just pain. Like, in my neck and my head. It gets better, though, when I go into the, the thing. And I've got, I'm, I'm moving my, um... Like, I'm moving my tabletop defenders around to get it, and so I don't want to be negative. It's going to happen. You know, I've got it, but I, I think, I, I don't know, they may be moving it around houses. This guy's really intent on murdering me, and I, I, it's so bizarre. Where did my dog go? Did she go in the enclosure? Sometimes she'll just get in there. No. Where are you, Pepper? What you doing, boo boo? What you doing? What you say? What you say, boo boo? Huh? You gonna lick yourself? Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to make a short video. Uh, yeah, they're kind of hitting me hard. Um, but once I get in the enclosure, it, it's okay. But I'd rather it be good, you know, outside of the enclosure and inside the enclosure. I'll figure it out though. I mean, I have I have technology to stop it. It's just coming from a weird place. They figured something out, and I gotta figure that out, you know. But all right, guys, I I can't I couldn't figure out how to turn the camera around. Uh, so I'm just gonna make this a short video. It'll just be about my doggy, you know, my little doggy, just licking herself. It hurts animals, too. It hurts animals and kids. Like, I can't imagine if I had a kid in here. Because, like, a lot of the people who are stalked, you know, they have kids. And, and uh, the kids get hurt, too. Like, the women who get stalked. Because it's 70% women, 30% uh, men who get stalked like this. Look at all this. Look how far I've gone. I'd like to say I've gone balls to the, balls to the wall. But, I mean... What is all this? I mean, what what is all this? We're Americans, and I'm living in an enclosure, and my neighbors are trying to kill me with microwave energy. I mean, I don't I don't even get it. I don't know how to put my mind space into into that. You just got to do it though. But all right, uh, I, since I can't see you guys, this is my enclosure that I sleep in. So I got the TV, little light. I don't know if y'all seen that. It sucks. 
I'd like a big bed. I'd like to just roll around on it, you know? Yeah, I got tons of stuff. Probably, I'll, I guess I can't put any more aluminum polyester. It'd probably cave in if I did that. So I got to, what my mom says, she said put um, corrugated steel in the attic right above where I'm sleeping. So I think that's the next thing that I might work on because they're just hitting me from above. They're not hitting me, you know, straight through. And it could be anybody. It could be somebody in the city. It could be the guy across the street. It could be the the ex-military guy, you know, just pumping it up a lot. It could be a lot of things. And I just got to think about what it is. Always just think. Like when they're talking to you with microwaves, just kind of focus on what they're saying and who they are so, and just store it. You know, don't react to the microwave hearing. You know, don't do not do that. Just listen to what they say. Listen to who they are. And so that later on, you know, you might be able to use it. You know, you might be able to use it to survive. Um, all right, guys, since you can't see me, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. I always just like, I like talking to y'all because I, I am, yeah, I'm alone. Like, I guess y'all are all alone, too. We're all alone fighting these people and it's like I have a great mom a good brother a great dad this whole family but it's like I'm alone like I talked to my dad today he's doing awesome he's walking around where he lives like he's he's gonna be walking permanently you know for good so that's that's really good news but it's like I didn't say anything about what's going on with me and nobody wants to hear it um you know while this guy gets more and more people to drive around like I've seen like, I, I don't know, I've seen more, um, well, I don't want to talk about that, but I've, I've just seen the one light, you know, in traffic. Some people pulled in front of me all weird, and it was kind of dangerous, so I was like, maybe, you know, maybe they're stalkers or whatever. But, uh, I don't know, I'll stop talking about that, so maybe he'll stop. Um, you know, something I did got him to where he's like, okay, we got him on the ropes. Look at this, look, I've taped it. I've taped this, but the tape kept coming off. And this is Gorilla Tape. This is the tape that, you know, they say sticks on everything, Gorilla Tape. But I had to, it kept coming off, and I just put it down in this thing. You know, but then I figured out I could, I could just put a little pin through it and tape it to that, or tag it to that, you know. Look at this trash. This is how I live, guys. I mean, I feel, like, kind of smart, you know, I figure out ways to defend myself, but this guy is, like, military, and this is a military run. I mean, he's using military training and, uh, like, hidden covert weapons on me, an American citizen, living in my home, sleeping prone. It's so weird, it's bizarre, it's like Twilight Zone stuff. If the Twilight Zone was, like, really violent... See, these are all my movies, my Blu-rays. Put them right here. I got some more in some boxes in my video games I put right there. Look at this mess. This thing, what happened with this middle island is, uh, you know, this was pushing against it. And I think some mirrors broke in there. I think I have some broken mirrors. But it actually pushed it up, you know. So this thing is pushed up, holding these. And then there's pressure on the corrugated steel. So I'm, I, I get worried sometimes that it's all going to just cave in because it's done that before. But I think I got it balanced pretty good. That's why I'm saying I'd want something. And you could do that like six by six. You know, just uh, six by six. I mean, you could buy it. would probably be expensive. It'd probably be like, what, $100 for each piece or something like that. So $400 and get a uh, six by six get six by six just thick aluminum maybe you know three inches or something like that look at all this trash put this look at that look at the praying hands look at the praying hands I need to pray I'm praying a lot um, that's that's what helps me when I get away from that and they'll actually like I have Daystar channel um, so it's, it's all religious and it's all like preaching and they they shut that down. Like, he shuts that down immediately when I get that up because I think he knows that. I think he knows once I get close to my religion, I get more strength. I look better. I'm just doing better, you know. I'm not, I don't do, 
Yeah, I guess I do debaucher stuff. I do, um, I do pleasure myself when I, because I don't have a girlfriend, and they see that, and they, uh, use it. They try and make me feel guilty, but I don't, because it's just something that you do, you know, when you don't have a girlfriend. That's, that's my opinion. I mean, everybody can have their own opinions about it, but then to kill them because, uh, they are, they're, you know, against masturbation, I guess, or something... Like, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what they're mad about. Because they're killing me, you know. Look at this. Look at all this corrugated steel. Maybe I should move this. I could put some of it on top. Because this guy, I don't think... I think maybe he's just doing the above uh, satellite stuff. But then I think, you know, the ex-military guy probably wouldn't have just handed over that tens of thousands of dollars of stolen military equipment just to somebody... I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Um, it's not bad now. Like, I moved some stuff over there, so it's not bad. But they were hitting me on the top of the head, and so it was burning the top of my head and then putting pressure, like, on the middle. And it's like I feel dizzy, and, like, I'll start, like, I'll be like, I was talking to my dad, and I'm just like, I, I, I'm like, what? You know, what's going on? Um, but, but never, you know, I'm never giving up or anything like that. But I do want to document it. I want to document it when I'm in pain because it's it, it's very real. These people have a lot of hate for me, and they don't know me. Like the Latino guys on this side, I've never met them. You know, I've never met them or talked. I think I talked to one of the guys once. He was like, something wrong with your car? And I was like, yeah, I'm just fooling around with it, and that was it. Um, so I don't know them, but they scream, and they hate me, and they want me dead or out of this house. I mean, because I guess they get mad that, you know, I'm doing private stuff. I don't know. I don't... They're looking into my house and legally surveilling me, so I don't really understand it. Look at this. This is this is the mattress that I wanted in my master bedroom, which is... And let me just show you. Dream shattered. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It's just a house, but, you know, I was, I was, I was like, sick, and I was, like, not doing a bunch. I wasn't painting a bunch, but I was kind of getting with it. And I was painting everything white, and it looked really good. And now it's just all aluminum, you know. You guys know because I painted it. Look at all this. Like, I don't even know why I have this on there. It does probably, it probably does make a little bit of a difference, you know. But this is the room. This is the master bedroom. I want to show you all. Look, I put these on. These are the uh, the window covers that you know, uh, that neutralize RF and EMF, and they've been working pretty good, I think. Um, this is a chair that I put the tabletop emitter if I move it over here, but this was all white. I mean, it was like the, the ceiling, it was like a, a darker, it was like, well, you can see, it's like, it was taupe. And then I wanted to have my master bed like right here or whatever, that could never happen because these guys, they have weapons, and they could just shoot me in the bed and burn me and microwave me. So that was what I wanted to do with the house. I was doing it. I was for three months. I was doing it, and I felt sick. And I'd hear ringing, like when I'd uh, look at my computer, and uh, I didn't realize it. But he was attacking me for three months without me knowing it when I moved here. Like almost the the third night, I think that I came here and I stayed. Like, it was so bad, the EMF in my ears was so bad, and I was being tortured. And so I don't know if it was him or if it was the guys at the apartment just remotely hitting me. Because they can just sit in their apartment across the, they can across the, um, you know, a couple blocks away. And they can just have a, a remote station and just hit you in the head with it, and you can't do anything about it. You can have as many emitters around your house as you want, but if they're far enough away, you're screwed. And I think that's what they figured out, so I don't know. I'll have to start wearing a helmet or, you know, uh, the enclosure works really good, though. So I'm complaining for nothing. I just wanted to show you all my dog, actually. Like, she just, she's very tired, lethargic. It just makes her, like, she'll, she'll just, like, put her head down and, and kind of shake it and stuff like that. I want to show y'all what I what I live in. This is my helmet, guys. 
This is my helmet, guys. Isn't it awesome? It's tin foil. Tin foil. Let's see if you can see me. Put it on. It'll be like a uh, Star Lord with this helmet. I want to get one like that that has that ha that shuts the front. I don't know if you can see me. That light is very bright. Can you see that? Let's see. I don't know. Look at my helmet. I'm like Magneto or Star Lord. Like I want to put a cover in the front, you know, um, with eye slits. But um, that's my crazy hat. I don't know. Like I'm doing pretty good. I haven't, you know, gone to the wall of shame or yelled at him. I've talked to him a little bit. I've been like, why are you so intent on murdering people? And then I see like people on the streets. He's got a lot of people activated on the streets. And uh, I guess that's, um, I don't know if y'all can see me. I guess that's like on the internet they have a group and it's the death cult. And then he just picks names and he's like, okay, he's on this street and whoever can go, go. So it's like a network like that. It's like whoever can, can go uh, harass the target individual, you know, goes and does their business. And a lot of them, they like it. It's like they're, they're sm they smile and it's like fun. I just, it's so evil. It's like killing people really slowly and mutilating their bodies and just like really kind of, it's Satanist. It just looks like Satanism to me. Like people dying and people suffering and this guy needs it. He's like, we got to do it. We got to murder him. We got to murder him now, you know. It's like you can't, you can't live in peace anymore. There's too many people riled up. Too many people looking at my house. Too many people uh, with just so much hate towards me that I've never met. I've never met. They've looked in my house and looked at me naked, and I've never met them, and they hate me, and they want me dead. It's it's such a weird thing, you know, because they're just trying to help out their buddy, and their buddy wants me dead, so they're like, hey, man, well, I'll, I'll help you out here. You know, like nothing, like it's nothing. Like my life means nothing. And uh, that's hard to fight. Like, I'm a strong guy. I've been through Crohn's. I've been through... I'm just showing you all my walls and stuff while I'm talking. I put this here, you know, so I'll look at this instead of, like, thinking about them looking at me use the bathroom. Because that's what they do. Oh, mirror. Okay. Look at my hat. <laughs> it's so silly. Look at this. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a front cover. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some uh, really good aluminum and make it look good. I'm gonna shape it and I'll look like Star Lord. I'll put it in the front um, if I have to, because they're hitting me in the top of the head. That kind of sucks. But I. I mean, I think I got it. You know, with my emitters. I mean, a little bit's hit me, and I could live with it. You know, I could live with it. Uh, or I don't think I'm gonna buy another emitter. They're so expensive. Maybe once I start. Uh, you know, making money. Uh, somehow, I'll make money. Little poor baby. You little poor baby. Little poor baby. Look at her eyes. She's a demon dog. She's a demon dog. You're a demon dog. I love you. 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 Love my doggy. Love my doggy. Love my doggy. Um, I guess that's it. I just wanted to show y'all her. She's, I mean, she still wags her tail and stuff, but she, I think what happens is, and I was, I was thinking about this as they were doing ELF to my head. I think, and I, I think I said this in the video. I think um, she can actually hear the extremely low frequency sounds. So if she's not getting hit with it directly. But she can actually hear it because it's extremely low frequency. It's like an ultrasound, and she can hear it. I love having her because she'll bark if anybody comes. Like I have to. I'll show y'all my car. I'm gonna take the helmet off before I go outside, and then my neighbors really because a lot of neighbors know something's going on, but they don't know the extent of it. So I've got to be careful. I've got to be really careful about yelling and looking crazy. See, I, I parked my car. There's my driveway right there. 
I never park there. I park here. Park right here. Uh oh, baby. See, I want to show y'all. Like this part of my car. I can't get it in because they broke this part. They keep breaking it and it's going to fall off. Like this little part. The Latino household. Somebody comes over and they broke this. Right there. To try and, so I can't get it in. You know, but I can still get it in right now. It's just, it's, uh, they mess with that. They, they have a key to my car. Because I'll come in, I'll come in sometimes, and they'll, uh, they'll hit that key on my car. So, so I don't know what they do inside my car. I don't know if they put something in there. But nothing that bad's happened yet. I want to sh okay, I want to show y'all something. I want to show y'all something that surprised me. It surprised me very, it's just a real big surprise. And it was, it happened when I was at the apartments. And, and so, in my car, I don't have any of my cushions, my head cushions. And they're in here. And they're all, all the head cushions have holes in them. They've all been ripped open. As you can see, they've been ripped open. And it's like somebody's put stuff in them. But they were taken out. So I think at the apartment, they were low-teching it. They were low-teching it. And they had cameras and sound devices because there's like a huge hole. Like in this cushion. In this cushion, there's a big look. I mean, you see the hole. That that somebody made that, and then it's a lot of room in there to put something in. So I guess I'll just like I didn't do that. I'm getting a low battery thing. Look at that. That's a hole in my cushion. And that happened when it first started. They were putting stuff in my car and watching me drive around and I had no clue so they're getting all this surveillance you know I think I've smoked pot in the car um, I'm sure just from that they could get a lot I probably talk to myself in the car you know about like ton. I don't know I do weird stuff like I'm weird but I'm not crazy and then this one has a hole in it too look at it I didn't make these holes in them and that's from when it began four years ago. Four years ago, they were low teching it, putting cameras and sound things in my car. Look at this one. I mean, it's like huge. There's a huge opening in it. And it's like just so something could go in there. Maybe they just did it to make me paranoid. Maybe they just made the holes and didn't put anything in them. You know? These people, I mean, it's like, it's like the treachery is like a, a mirror. And then there's other treachery, which is the other mirror, and then it just makes a million mirrors, so you don't know what they're doing. You know, they could be tricking me on this side, and then, you know, doing something else, and just, you know, just a big trick, I guess, that kills people. Um, that's about it. I have a cool Iron Man poster right there. Love Iron Man feel like that right now like he like I feel like man I could make a little helmet like that that wouldn't be hard and just make it out of aluminum you know I'm sure you could get like just like the thing that I'm thinking about three inches of aluminum six by six I mean it would maybe be expensive but a metallurgist could do it you know for a couple hundred dollars probably they could probably make you a little helmet like a magneto helmet out of uh, thick aluminum like, so I'm thinking about that. I might call some of them. The neutralizers work really good. It's just they have tons of military weapons. They have tons of this microwave stuff. And it's just he's got an arsenal. So it's hard to block it. Like, if I was dealing with one EMF emitter, dude, it would be down. I'm not even hearing EMF. He can't even get the EMF going. But I guess the ELF is in another position or, you know... They have two stations, two remote stations. I really don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, here's some comic books that I'm reading. Okay, now I'm just showing you stuff that doesn't even matter. Um, all right, um, yeah, this is my fortress right here that I want to be rid of. I'd rather have that, 